Let's make some light rays in Photoshop CS6 in a different way now. Let's begin by choosing a foreground color. So here I just chose light blue. And then I double click the background color and I choose a dark blue. So now I'm going to use the gradient tool which may be hidden behind the paint bucket tool. You can right click to expose it. Hit the drop down box and choose the first color which is foreground to background color. Double click. Uh, now I could draw a gradient like that but I'm going to press Control alt z We're choosing a linear gradient. Hold down the shift button to make it go down straight perfectly. So we have a very straight and soft gradient going down. Now the one setting to remember to create this uh, starburst effect is go to Filter, Distort, Wave. So remember, Filter, Distort, 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 Distort. Go to Wave, Wave, think of water. When you think of water waves, you think of uh, things going up and down, and that, that's where the wavelength comes in play. Now if you have a big wavelength, you can see that the lines look like this whereas if you have a small wavelength the lines get quite close like this so we want it small I'm going to just choose 30 30 as a wavelength and um, if you have more generators you can see if you have one generator it looks like kind of fuzzy but let's just increase the generators so that it looks almost straight what about amplitude this doesn't have too much effect but this just goes, this should be big enough so that it looks like it's going up and down straight lines. Alright, so we just leave the rest of the options, click on OK, and you see how we now have a nice very straight line pattern. So the one thing to remember is you start off with a gradient, you go to filter, and then distort, and that's the key, you'll find this wave option, filter distort. The second key option you should remember is polar coordinates found in the same distort uh, section of the filter. So polar coordinates. Click on that and if you just choose the default options it automatically pinches everything such that it pulls it all to one uh, center. So it looks almost like the uh, hyper warp speed effect. Click on OK and we now have a very interesting starburst type effect in this different manner.